culinary gem of the Roman Empire. Today on the Echoes Through Time channel, we will talk about garum. In the lush days of the Roman Empire, when the streets echoed with the footsteps of legionaries and the markets, overflowed with a profusion of colors and aromas, there was a culinary treasure that reigned supreme in Roman kitchens, garum. This exquisite fermented fish sauce, revered for its intense flavor and versatility in gastronomy, became an essential element on Roman tables, adding a touch of distinction to their most cherished dishes. The art of making garum was an ancient tradition, dating back approximately to the 3rd century BC, when Roman culinary experts mastered the fermentation process with skill. To prepare this coveted sauce, simple yet carefully selected ingredients were needed. High quality fresh fish such as mackerel, tuna, or herring, coarse sea salt, and aromatic herbs. The process of making garum was a meticulous ritual that began with the thorough cleaning of the fish, often using discarded or less desirable parts, such as viscera and heads, followed by cutting them into small pieces. Then, in a large ceramic container, layers of fish and salt were alternated, creating a mountain of ingredients that were submerged in a deep fermentation sleep. For weeks, sometimes months, the container rested, allowing the magic of fermentation to slowly transform the fish and salt into a liquid sauce rich in flavor. Once fermentation reached its optimal point, the resulting liquid was filtered, separating the solids and obtaining the coveted liquid garum, a sauce with golden tones and in strong aroma. After that, it was stored in terracotta amphorae. Garum was not only a sauce in itself, but also the base for a variety of blends and seasonings. It was combined with vinegar, aromatic herbs, honey, wine, and even other condiments to create unique and distinctive flavors that satisfied the most discerning palates. On the Roman table, garum was used in multiple ways, from adding depth of flavor to soups and stews to serving as a sauce to accompany meats and fish. Its versatility knew no bounds and was generously used to enhance the flavor of the simplest vegetables and legumes. The legacy of garum transcended the borders of Rome, spreading throughout the vast Roman Empire and leaving its mark on Mediterranean cuisine for centuries. Although the exact details of its preparation have been lost to time, its influence endures in the flavors and culinary traditions of the region to this day. Thus, every time we enjoy a fermented fish sauce or a flavorful condiment on our plate, we honor a culinary tradition that dates back to the glorious days of the Roman Empire, the legendary garum, a gastronomic jewel that continues to captivate the senses and remind us of the richness and sophistication of ancient Rome. <laughs>